We understand the human mind, and through fiction we are programmed through emotion, where any act, anything at all, can be humanized in a way, in drama, as to make it palatable to the people. His name is David. I feel it. That's creepy. Whoa. That's so real. <laughs> In a distant future, in an age of intelligent machines. And through fiction we are programmed through emotion, where any act, anything at all, can be humanized in a way, in drama, as to make it palatable to the people. He is the first robotic child programmed to love and coexist as a member of a family. His is a tale of humanity and a journey to find his place among humans and machines. I'm a boy. You are a real boy. At least as real as I've ever made one.
still out in front of the crowds, and he ran the Committee of 100, they called it, which was the radical group of the anti-war uh, protest movement. Uh, this particular group would, would smash down and, and cut through the fences at air bases and storm onto the runway and destroy things. So, so here again, you have an aristocrat um, funded through the Fabian Society pretending to be on the working man's side um, leading vast amounts of people who'd fallen for his spiel and these guys always have a very good spiel you see and, and yet this lord um, this particular lord had nothing in common with the working class nothing whatsoever in fact he never mixed with them apart from the, the mobs that he would speak in front he wouldn't mix with them because he had nothing in common with them he was a eugenicist. He believed in superior breeding and the breeding of intellect into people. He believed in abortion, birth control, and eugenics, meaning mandatory abortion for certain people below IQ levels of, of whatever. And, and Lord Bertrand Russell was a big, big player uh, as far as the public are concerned because he wrote so many books which can, can use certain truths and certain facts to bring you to a, a preconceived conclusion, knowing you must arrive by the way the information is presented. Most of the, the facts you arrive at, actually, or the conclusions you come to, um, are arrived at because they omit other facts. And, and that's how most of these conclusions are reached. Now, Bertrand Russell, he was given a personal teacher, a tutor, when he was very young. And this tutor was a Darwinian, as Mr. Russell in his own autobiography says. And he was a crazy guy, of course. He, he had chickens running all over the house. And he wanted to study their various habits and, and etc., and maybe he hoped he'd evolve into a, a higher type of dinosaur, but, but who can tell? 